Hey everybody, it's Video Gaming Asia, the Asian sensation that is always here in gaming, bringing to you guys today the first episode of our Let's Play Legend of Zelda Orcarina of Time. Now guys, I'm still working with that title. I know it's going to be very tedious and long to say at the beginning of every episode, but regardless guys, it is finally here. I was letting you guys know that this was coming to the channel and I cannot be even, I can't even begin to tell you guys how exciting I am to start this off for you guys. But with that, let's go ahead and get started because we are, um, no no sense in wasting time on the uh, title screen here we're gonna go ahead and jump right in so guys um like i said i'm just really excited to get this going um this game it, first off this game is just it's absolutely amazing uh, so nostalgic at that um you know same thing like i said with the yellow uh pokemon yellow version this game was one of those games that back when i was a kid we're gonna go ahead and go with vga as our file name uh back as a kid I was just so obsessed with playing it. I, when, when I was not playing Pokemon, I was playing this game. And I'm gonna shut up right now because we've got we've got a we got a cussing going on right now. The Guardian Spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The Great Deku Tree. I'm sorry. H how how can I be so rude? Shh, cussing. Okay, you know, this is awkward being a little bit quiet here. Uh, yeah, so, um, for those of you who are, you know, for some reason haven't played this game, I highly recommend that you watch this series or, you know, don't watch it and go play this game because it is a great, amazing game for its time. Like, it's just, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but, um, also, if you're not feeling like you want to go out and get an N64 to play, oh, this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. This is basically where, um, I guess the plot is introduced here, or I get, you know, SPOILER ALERT! You will see the scene again, basically. But, um, that's all I'm gonna say on that matter. I don't want to, uh, ruin anything. Oh, I'm just, I'm just so excited, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to be, you know, at this point, a little bit conservative, uh, because there is a lot going on right now, and, uh, I don't want to take away from that. But anyway, I think we can finally, yes. Navi! Navi! Where are thou? Come hither. I am going to try to do some voices sometimes just because there are a lot of voices to do in this game. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry, that 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 was the great deeper tree. Let me adjust that voice. Oh Navi the Fairy, listen to my words. The words of the Deku Tree. Doubt those senses? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. <laughs> Doing this voice really is. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the co the the the, co the cokery the the cokery forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deteriorating outsiders and, the, and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now! Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. And there you have it. So, that's basically gonna be, uh, that uh, we, uh, we have met the, uh, basically the mustache of the great Deku tree and uh this here is uh navi who is basically uh flying to go find uh, uh the hero or soon to be the hero of time he doesn't know it yet he doesn't know it but um by the way guys let me know how you like this layout uh i i really liked it when i made it and stuff like that uh, i know the i know the screen border might be a little bit too uh too big or whatnot but um uh, a little secret behind that. I, ca I kind of had to accept it being that size and stuff, but you know, none of that matters. I think it turned out pretty well. And uh, now we're going to get started. By the way, guys, another thing I want to mention is that the game at times might seem like it just kind of loses like one frame or something like that. I apologize for that. I will look into that. I don't think when I tested this out, I don't think it was much of a problem, but um, you know, that's that. Do what you want with that information, but here we go, guys. Hello! BGA! Oh, God, what was that voice? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna try to... Hello! BGA, wake up! The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you! BGA, get up! That is an annoying voice in Abby, but you know what? We'll go with it. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? I might not do that anymore with Navi, to be quite honest. Um, 
I don't know. Let me uh, know down in the comment section, guys, if you want me to continue Navi's annoying, uh, whatever kind of voice that is. I don't even know, to be quite honest. You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy! It might even gradually change as time goes on, because I don't know how long I can keep my voice that high. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on! Nice to meet you! The Great Deku Tree! You know, I'm gonna stop, because that voice is just, it's so raspy. And I'm using so much energy to even portray that voice right now, so has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Okay, we'll use normal VGA voice for this. Anyway, guys, let's get started. I think I said that before, but now we're officially getting started. We can control uh, the hero of the uh, soon-to-be time. Oh, who's this chick? It's uh, S S Sarah Saria. Yahoo! Okay, hi VGA! This is a relevant character, by the way. Pretty sure. Let us speak. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, VGA. Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! <laughs> now you're a true Kokiri VGA! What's a Kokiri VGA? I didn't say that sentence right, did I? Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you! It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. I will do just that. But, uh, ooh, look, someone drew, uh, uh, what is it, Caveman on Tree? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Anyway, guys, um, we are officially starting this game, so let's, uh, get acquainted with the controls here. Okay, so that's how you roll, and, uh, we're moving right now. Uh, this is our start menu that's a little glitchy but i don't know it could be just the rom guys but um at, at that point there's nothing i could really do about that but uh, no i don't want to say it. okay so with that let's go ahead and start doing what we got to do um so what i remember from this game i remember a lot this, for some reason this game i don't want to talk to you right now navi i really don't for some reason this game in me it just clicks uh, I, I can't seem to ever forget what you have to do in this game at any point in time. Like, it's crazy. I do that in Pokemon all the time. Like, I, I blank out. Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But, uh, what I know we have to do now is get rubies. So we can, uh, buy a, a shield. And, oh, look at that. Classic N64 glitches. Look at that. We, we can see through the wall. We're, we're champions right now. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and get some rubies right now because uh, by doing so, we will get, uh, this is basically the currency in this game. I think you get rubies for jumping this. Yeah. Uh, blue is five, I believe, but basically, I'm gonna finish my sentence. We're going to get rubies so we can go and buy the Kokiri shield, which is, um, if you guys don't know, is kind of important because uh, we kind of need a shield to defend ourselves. I think going in this house... Yes, there's treasure chests here. I believe there's some hearts, and I think there's a couple of good rubies in here, so... There we go. I think the ideal number, or the exact price that we were looking for, is 40 rubies. 30 or 40? I want to say 40. It's something like that. Our wallet isn't that big yet, but, um, I think it's 40. But we can go ahead and get that, no problem. This one is a heart, though. I think. Yeah, it's a heart. Which we don't need, because we're, we're sitting pretty at three hearts, but, um... That's just that. So yeah, guys, let me know while we're doing this if you are so hyped for this series. It's the first episode, so I'm going to be quite honest. We're only going to kick it off and do, you know, the, the basic stuff that we got to do. Uh, get acquainted with the controls, uh, you know, get the sword and shield, basically. That's today's objective. And then uh, we'll leave off there and then pick up episode two, right, uh, where we leave off. So, uh, ooh, actually, I spy. I, for, I actually did forget about this. Uh... Blue Ruby up here. Hey. Navi, shut up! I don't want to talk to you right now. But Listen. I'll do it anyway. The Great Deku Tree. I said I wasn't doing it. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. I get that. Okay. You know what? I I am in the middle of doing something right now, Navi. You can't interrupt me. It's a fine morning to be doing this. It really is. Actually, uh, when I'm recording this right now, it's actually kind of gloomy outside. So, if I had a shield or a sword, I could chop these uh, up, but uh, like this guy over here, I, I can't seem to pick up. What is he doing exactly? Oh, he's not trying to pick it up, he's trying to uh, cut it, do something with it? I don't know. I don't know! Um, I'm wasting time here. Okay, so I think if we jump this again, 
Yes. So basically, it's kind of tedious at this point, but uh, what you do is uh, you just kind of go in and out of places and get 40 rubies. And uh, actually, you know what we can do? We can pick up rocks. And there's nothing in that rock, so I'm just going to go ahead. We're close to 40. Go in. Go out. And we should be okay. That's one. We're sitting at 33. Uh, okay, so let's go and get, if we could get two in here. Nice. And then, if my map is correct, that should make five after doing this. And we are all set. So, this is the shop. I'm not gonna do your voice, because you're, you're kinda, you're kinda relevant, to be quite honest. But you're sitting up top there. I believe this is the shop. Yes, it is. That, that shop tune. I love it. Okay, so anyway, enough singing and enjoying ourselves here. Uh, we are here to get, yes, 40 rubies. I was right. There we go. We have the Deku shield. I thought it was the Kokiri shield, but it's the Deku shield. It's the Kokiri sword or the Kokiri dagger. I call it the dagger. I think they call it the sword in this game, but it's definitely a dagger. And, um, that we don't have to buy, though, so we're gonna go ahead and get that, however. Uh, and we're gonna wait to equip all of our equipment until we get the full shebang. You can't be a warrior of time without a sword and shield, so you can't have just one. You, you, you just can't do that, so. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go up here, because this is where we have to go to get the sword. We gotta go through this, this conveniently placed gate. Oh, look at that, we're hopping on top of gates! We're hopping on top of the fence! We're jumping the fence, actually. Um, and crawl through this cross space here. You know, when I was a kid, I took a lot of inspiration from this game, and, and, and not, you know, I didn't go out and start whacking things with a, with a stick. Most of the time. Uh, you, you know, I, 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 the sense of adventure that you get in this game is, uh, ooh, Ruby. Uh, it, it's just great, and I think we can all agree that this is one of those highlighted games from Nintendo that just really, really dominated the you know, our, our generation, I, I think. Because, well, you, you know what? I don't know what I, Oh, God. What? Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot there was a boulder going on. But what I was saying with that, and I think the sword's up here. Yes, it is. What I was saying with that was basically that, um, I remember being a kid and when this game basically came out, and I was just like, I didn't know what it was. And when I played it, it, it blew my mind. And I just couldn't stop playing it. And I can't stop playing it today. As you guys know, they rebooted it for the 3DS. They even released Majoro's Mask. Might do a playthrough of that game later. I don't know. But these games are so good that, you know what? It's no surprise that they did that. Because this has to be probably, like, one of the top 10 most nostalgic games of, like, the 1990s. Like, I think that's when it came out. I'm pretty sure. You know what? They had the date in the, on the title screen, and I didn't check that out. Anyway, we all know that classic game. The Kokiri Sword, yes. It is a dagger, though. I guess for the, the size that, you know, we are right now, or any kid for that matter this size, that would be a sword. You know, if it's pretty much the length of your body, it's kind of a full sword, so, or a long sword. I don't know. Let's not get hit by uh, that rock over there, or Graveler, <laughs> making a Pokemon reference in the Zelda game. Um, let's go ahead and get out of here, because there's nothing else we got to do here. But... You know, I gotta give it to Link, or I guess in this game, we're, we're us, VGA. Uh, he's living the good life. You know, he's got, I don't think he's got parents. You know, that's never really explained. I think there's one Zelda game where you have like an uncle or something like that. I think it's like the first one. But, um, yeah, you know, just, just, just the, just the kid. Not caring in the world, doing whatever he wants. Jump off this cliff? Yeah, I'll go do that. And normally that would probably hurt, but anyway, we now have our sword and our shield. I'll get my sword and my shield. And we are complete as a warrior now. Look at that. Look at that. The whole package, guys. The whole package. Give us some action right now. Oh, we don't have magic yet, so we can't do our spinny attack, but oh, oh, shield. Shank, 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 shank. Oh, it's just amazing, guys. I'm really excited. Um, but with that, uh, we are all set. Let me just real quick do some. Ah, look, a heart. That's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. But we're gonna go over here. 
And before we talk to, uh, Mr. McJerky Jerk over here, I believe he's a jerk to you, like, throughout the whole game, even when you're an adult, for that matter. Um, spoiler alert. We're gonna leave off right here. Uh, like I said, guys, it was basically the first episode, just kind of gonna get acquainted with the game, introduce everything. Gonna get the sword and shield, but next episode, we are gonna pick up right here, talk to this dude, head on over to the Great Deku Tree, and, uh, we'll take it from there. For those of you who don't know what the, you know, what to expect from this game, you're in for quite the treat. But with that, guys, we are gonna end off right here and do our out. I, I just dropped my controller. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, if you enjoy the content that you have viewed today, be sure you hit that like button right at the bottom of the video. Tell me how I'm doing, of course. Are you really hyped for this series? I hope you guys are. I really am. It's oh. The hype is real, guys. Of course, if you did not like the content that you have viewed today, you can be sure to hit that dislike button right at the bottom of the video, located right next to said like button, if you're feeling like you gotta do so. But that is completely up to you guys. As usual, I will leave you with that. But, with all said and done, I'm Video Game Nation. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.